as the morning sun rises over Freetown Municipality, the street comes alive with the bustling of street vendors. Unemployment has forced many individuals to move from rural to urban regions, creating a demand for accessible and affordable goods. As a result, street trading has become a major source of subsistence for many, offering particular items for the urban poor, such as cheap food. The socio-economic significance of street trading is immense, with many financially trapped individuals finding a way out by selling goods. Although some view street vendors negatively, they are woven closely into the fabrics of society, providing a vital service for those in need. Despite the challenges faced by street vendors, they continue to operate without permission, selling goods from cars, carts, and temporal stores. In addition, the sale of fake items is common, with buyers having no way to trace them back to unscrupulous sellers. Despite the efforts made by the government to provide official market infrastructures, Many street vendors continue to operate in the informal economy. This has created ongoing conflict between the Freetown City Council and local councils in other towns in Sierra Leone. In the meantime, street vendors continue to play a crucial role in providing affordable goods and services to the urban poor. Many people rely on the street food industry as a source of subsistence. In contrast, others depend on street vendors for other practical items. Despite the challenges and uncertainties, street trading continues to be a significant part of life in Freetown Municipality. For many, it represents an opportunity to earn a living and provide for their families. The daily routine of street vendors involves setting up makeshift mobile shops as early as 6 a.m. along the roadside or in front of shops before the shop owners arrive to open their stores. Some even take advantage of traffic bottlenecks to sell their wares. Although conflicts with local councils and the government continue, street vendors argue that they have the right to operate as long as they pay market dues. In response to customer theft, non-payment of taxes, and disease linked to poor sanitation, the Sierra Leonean government has established an official market infrastructure across the municipality. However, street vendors continue to operate in these areas. For some, street trading is a long-term career choice. For others, it is a stepping stone to a better life. The challenges faced by street vendors are many. Still, they remain an essential part of the fabrics of Freetown Municipality, providing a vital service for those in need. As the day draws to a close, 
and the sun sets on Freetown, the street vendors pack their goods in portable containers and leave them with the street boys for overnight security, leaving behind the traces of their businesses until the following day when the streets come alive again. The future of street trading in Sierra Leone remains uncertain. Still, one thing is certain. The resilience and tenacity of the street vendors who continue to make their living in this challenging and ever-changing environment. This is Hidden Voices.